take i can't help you out because i'm constantly being told new updates new updates everybody wants to know new updates king clancy the devil is scheduled to i can't help you out because he was scheduled to die this week and he's not dead yet i don't know if you're king clancy the devil what do you expect I don't know to be King Clancy the devil day after day after day. What's going to happen every day after day after day? I just wake up and it's King Clancy there and he has been every day. It's just a horror. He just shakes me loose and sends me horrible pain over and over again all day. All day. What is he? Well, I don't know. He's a monster. He's an absolute monster. What's a monster? Well, you know what monsters are, and it's not like a cute, cuddly wind. Well, sometimes he actually does calm down, and he's actually something. Sometimes he actually tells a joke. But he is like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You know, he's got multiple personality disorder. Well, who's King Clancy? He's one of the prime torturers who tortures me. Electronic harassment. A real person, yes, as far as we know. A real dumb person, well, yeah. I don't know. Clancy Wiggum on The Simpsons seems smarter than the Clancy version that comes around here. Does. But it's the same person, pretty much. I don't know. I'm shook by remote control. I'm tortured. I get mind wipes every day. What does it take to make it go away? The answer is from God. Everybody has been checked out to see if you're naughty or nice. And everyone was given enough rope to hang themselves if they're naughty. So when are all the hangings actually going to happen? Well, I can't help you out because there's still people who are coming in who, you know, didn't have any criminal activity on their rap sheet in the past, but... At this late date, <clears throat> well, there are people who at this late date are now considering crime. I don't know how long this is going to go on for. It's been going on for years and years and years. Are you naughty or nice? And if you're given enough situation, are you going to participate in evil? And the answer so far is, yeah, there's still more people. I don't know. After 8 billion people, do you expect crime to stop by leaving this open forever? No, it's just, I can't help you out. Well, it's just because I don't know. I can't help you out because over and over again, there's nothing else I can tell you. You need to get your consciousness up to 540 on the scale of human consciousness and keep it there. I can't tell you when all this is going to happen. I see signs every day. I go for a walk and I see signs all the time. Sign, sign, everywhere a sign. The sign says, you know, the, 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 the whatever you want to call it, 5D Earth. All kinds of signs, all kinds of signs from the universe. I never have a day where I go out and I don't see some kind of a sign that again confirms the great shift is upon us. The great awakening, the great change in consciousness, 5D Earth. Why am I attacked every day? Well, because they're stupid. Because there's lots of people all over the world that know about 5D Earth. And, you know, they go about their merry way. I am a targeted person targeted by the people who target me because I talk about nothing but raising consciousness. And I do nothing but raise consciousness, which makes them... And have to have somebody to target because they got to consider this a war. I mean, that would be better off for the people who torture me if they let go and accepted 5D. Or the, of course, the 1% would be better off. Of course, everybody, including the 1%, is off better in 5D Earth. Why don't they want to do it? Um, I don't know, because they're not human. Put it down, number one reason why people don't want 5D Earth. They don't want Heavenly Realm. It's not because they think it's Ned Flanders and there's no Nookie, because that's just not what it is. It's just, you know, you take the best of this Earth and you get rid of all the horrible, horrible. That's what it is. Why don't you want that? Well, because the people that do horrible, horrible enjoy torturing other people. That's what's going on. The evil people who do evil love doing evil more than 5D Earth. Yes, it's the truth. So, I don't know, what have you ordered up for yourself? 
Have you ordered up heaven on earth or have you ordered up hell? Everybody has to decide what did you order up today? Were you a hellion or not? People around me are going to say, I'm the hellion, and I'm going to keep saying, I'm for 5D Earth, when you're a stick in the mud, and you continue to pretend that there aren't people who are against 5D Earth, as it would be anybody who's already rich and likes to live the life of the gated community. I don't know, incredibly stupid, but, you know, stupid or not, if you stand in the pros and the blah, 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 can't help you out, in the way of progress, then you are going to get flattened by a steamroller. And the people who torture me are continuing to torture me in the most horrific way. So, if you're somehow thinking I'm a liar, then you don't have the intuition to look into my situation, which means, on the scale of human consciousness, you don't have enough consciousness to have intuition to see and feel into what I'm saying. So it's your fault. So you need to raise your consciousness on the scale of human consciousness. Remember in the Stanley Cup, uh, Wayne Gretzky, the famous hockey player, calibrated at 900. A lot of people I talk to who can't process English calibrate under 200 on the scale. Why don't you be like Wayne Gretzky and get up to 900? Now, Wayne got up to 900 when he was on the ice playing hockey. When he wasn't on the ice, he didn't have 900. Well, it's just the way it is, because a lot of things that Wayne Gretzky does are not at 900 when he's off the ice. Because if we're going to bring in heaven on earth, there's a lot of things that Wayne Gretzky really doesn't represent when it comes to heaven on earth. To carry 900 day and night, you've got to be, the, you know, I don't know, you've got to be an enlightened sage. And I don't think he is. Uh, but he gets a 900 well when he was, uh, that's what I, I muscle tested and that's what I got. That's how you find out. I, um, what else do you want to know? Um, the people who torture me continue to want to know um, who, what, where, when, why, and how. They want to know what I know about them. Uh, well, what difference does it make? Because they're all gone a bus and the bus says going to the lake of fire to burn forever. If you don't have enough consciousness, to peer into my situation with your intuition, to see that I'm telling you the truth, well, I'm just going to say you're not at 540 on the scale of human consciousness, and that's your number one problem. So the big things you can do, the big anchors that keep you weighed down in low consciousness, number one, meat eating, number two, booze drinking, and number three, holding on to the idea that the things that you've already learned in this life are um, truth. Because a lot of the stuff that you have learned in this lifetime is not truth. So just get used to the idea of discovering a lot of the stuff that you thought was true, that you were taught was true by government schools, television, your parents, previous generations, is not true today because the world is new every day. And things that were true in the old earth... 25 years ago are not true today because the world has moved on and the collective consciousness has moved from 20 years ago and that's what's important because it changes the nature of our reality the higher we go in consciousness reality for us changes so anyways that's your report what you need to do is stop eating meat stop drinking booze go to the body mind center and do a bunch of yoga and make sure you get involved with um everything yeah, sign up for everything because you need to spend all day at the body mind center and stay away from the liquor store and stay away from the television that broadcasts one more major league professional sports game which is all phony baloney and you really need the exercise more than, you know, fixed, glued, dilated eyes looking at another football game. How long before we see major change? I don't know. I see major change all the time. Is there any way to stop this a great awakening? The answer is um, no. Are the dumb people going to wake up? That's the biggest question. Are really stupid people that are under 200 on the scale of human consciousness going to wake up? To, well, the, to, the story of the big maps are by, you know, people who are very psychic and in tune with spirit 
Uh, more than me, well, spirit myself continues to say, people who are under 200 in the scale of human consciousness are never going to wake up. But there are examples of individuals who are under 200, way under 200, who did wake up and went from, I don't know, 50 on the scale of human consciousness, which is more like an animal, a rattlesnake, some human that did go from being a vicious, violent alcoholic at 50 on the scale of human consciousness to 600 after they quit drinking and they spent a lifetime uh, being a helpful person. So people that are at the bottom of the scale, like, yes, I know when I've written them all off, uh, there's always examples of people who were at rock bottom who turned it all around and really it went way by. You know, this person who was a rattlesnake and left, uh, when you're at 600, you're a saint, left the world as a saint, and then, well, just went by. Went from way below the average person to way above the average person. Somebody who didn't sit on their laurels once they finally figured out that being a devil really is not a very... Well, it didn't pay off, and your wife told you, you know, I'm going to divorce you if you don't change kind of thing. So if ever it feels like you want to give an ultimatum to your um, uh, people around you that you've had and you really mean it, well, then do it. Open up your mouth and scream at them and call them a fuck-faced asshole, a stupid asshole if they're blue-pilled and they continue to pretend that, you know, the red pill wasn't an option. That's Matrix. If you haven't seen the movie The Matrix, then I don't know where you've been, but you should watch it if you've never seen The Matrix and maybe you should watch it again if it's been 20 years. Just because that's the nature of our reality, a bunch of people wandering around doing the same thing over and over again, thinking that they're awake and alive, but really they're not. Because this ain't living on planet Earth when it calibrates at, you know, such a low level of consciousness.